Hey everybody, Master Mom Amanda Olson here, and today I would like to talk about it's time. All right, now is the time, and what I mean by that is all the stuff everybody's been going through, and um, you know, excuses that we make to not reach our goals. Now's the time to fix that. Now's the time to get serious about getting back on track or find new goals. Um, and that may be a message that is kind of, well, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know, I don't want to hear that it's time that I need to get stuff together. But, you know, for some of you listening to this, you know, maybe it's um, something that will help you get out of your funk and get back on track. So I hope that that's what happens when you listen to this. And this is during, uh, you know, it's September. We've been dealing with COVID since March. And um, you may be listening to this years and years from now. I don't know. But there's always times where we're going through things that we didn't ask for, uh, things that are hard, and we can get off track and get, uh, you know, discouraged. So whenever you're listening to this current day or in the future, um, hopefully it'll be a message that's kind of timeless to get your act together and um, move forward from where you are. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a meeting with the staff and kind of came to, you know, we have been, first of all, they've been doing great and uh, so supportive and helpful and innovative. Um, but, you know, we're trying to do something the way we've always done it, but the, the parameters are not the way they've always been. And so we had to stop and say, okay, we keep trying to put this square peg in this round hole and it's not working and it's frustrating. And, um, you know, quite honestly, it's a little discouraging and even depressing, you know, trying to make something fit that doesn't fit. So we took some time and said, okay, here's the parameters we have. Here's the goals that we have. How do we reach them with these new, um, new rules or new conditions? And, uh, we came up with some really great things and, uh, it really turned everybody's attitude instead of being discouraged and disappointed about what we couldn't do focusing on all of the things that we can do. And that was uh, kind of not just uplifting in that one area, but it's spilled over into other areas, you know, in terms of running the business and teaching the classes and helping the families and, you know, uh, just personal goals that we had too. So think about what are you hoping will end? What are you hoping will happen? What are you hoping will change? And quite honestly, it's an old adage, but you know, you have to be in charge of uh, that change. You can't sit around and wait for, uh, you can't wait for the election. You can't wait for uh, a vaccine. You can't wait for somebody else. You have to take charge. And as hard as that is to realize and come to, and we all have to come to that situation, once you do that, that's when everything changes. So if you're in that situation where you're kind of like dreading this or dreading that or when is this going to be over, um, I would encourage you to say, all right, here's the you know way things are right now and I can work with this. I can work around this. I can work through this. I can continue on. Um, and set a good example for those around us, you know, as parents, obviously, leaders. Um, you, can, you can find the things that you can do. And maybe today it's one thing. What's one thing I know I can do? And let that be just a start. It doesn't have to be changing everything or, you know, making a hundred corrections in one day. Just make one. And that one step forward... Uh, will lead you to more and more steps forward and in a positive thing. So, you know, one of the things I do try to put out a lot of positive messages and encouragements and stories of, you know, people overcoming. Um, but, you know, I have my 
have real life struggles too. And um, I, I don't focus on that too much um, because I try to be encouraging. But I know that sometimes when I hear somebody talk about the struggles that they went through um, and that they're a real person too, it, I find that comforting. Like, okay, you know, it's okay to not be perfect. You know, we were talking about that uh, last week with one of the um, uh, high level study groups that I'm part of, uh, perfectionism and uh, how that can really hinder you. And, <clears throat> you know, so I don't want to go into that too much, but just a, just a story of uh, getting, getting things back on track uh, during this time. I, uh, last year there was, for me, a couple of weddings in the family, lots of work, busy, lots of travel, all kinds of stuff going on. And, you know, focusing on those things and uh, one of the things that I let slide or chose not to focus on was um, kind of my health a little bit, you know, and which is unusual for me. Uh, good diet and exercise are important to me. But I started, you know, putting on weight and bleh, just felt feeling yucky. So I got back on track and was, uh, you know, doing well. That was kind of my New Year's resolution, get get my act together, focus on me a little bit, and uh, doing really good on that. And then uh, COVID hit, and like a lot of people, um, I just, it was the last thing on my mind again. And, you know, so much focus went into work and just, you know, trying to figure things out and very stressful, you know, and I am, uh, tend to be a stress eater. So, uh, I put on my COVID weight <laughs> and I know a lot of people, you know, I was really like, wow, how are you guys doing that? They're, they chose that time to get in shape and, you know, I did kind of the opposite. Um, but, you know, I was proud of a lot of things that we did during that time and how we adapted and uh, pivoted as a business and um, a lot of great things came out of the, that time. One of them was not my weight. <laughs> so uh, I am glad to say though, you know, kind of getting through that. Um, lost my COVID weight and kind of back, get back track on my goals. But part of the way I was able to do that, uh, get back on uh, the, the right path for my health was just realizing it's time. You know, don't, you know, don't say, well, when this is done or that's done or when this happens or that happens or, you know, when everything's just right, I'm gonna get started. And the truth of the matter is today is the day, you know, today is the day to get back on those goals, whatever it is for you. For me, it was, for me, it was my diet. You know, I'm, I'm very active, you know, so exercise isn't always a big, you know, challenge for me, but uh, the diet was for sure. Um, so, you know, kind of coming to you from that point of in business, square peg, round hole, <laughs> that's not working, diet excuses not working you know taking the moment right now to make a change and say now is the time and just taking one step and it's worth it you're worth it your family's worth it your job is worth it uh, the people that you take care of or the people that you hang out with and have fun with they're worth it um, you know so just into a, a note of encouragement today in that area that when things aren't working, um, don't let that get you down. Just stop and say, okay, what can I do? What's one thing I can do? What's one thing I can do today that will change this negative thought or this bad pattern or this lack of success? You know, what's one thing I can do? And then you will be very surprised and excited that another thing will pop up and another and another and before you know it you've really made a change and you've gotten moving forward on whatever your goals are so uh, you know we all slip so what <laughs> we slip you know the thing is get back on track you know and find people that support you you know my family 
you know, I'm very fortunate to have a family that we work together and support each other. And, and if you don't feel like you have a support team, you know, find one. Get in a group. Like some people come to Taekwondo and they have a group of friends that are, you know, supportive of their goals. And, and that helps them stay on track. But we kind of joke with my family that <laughs> it's a good thing not all of us go through the lows at the same time, <laughs> you know, because that would be bad. And, uh, you know, we're all kind of... When we're going through something, we have that other person to say, hey, you know, um, uh, you're not really being yourself right now. You're not really thinking right. You need to stop, change your thought process. Or on the other hand, hey, thanks for making me stop, get my head together, get back on track, you know. Um, so, you know, lean on your support team or uh, encourage each other, help each other. But you know, most of all, just kind of forgive yourself if you get off track. But, uh, you know, nobody else is going to do it for you. That's the truth of the matter. And uh, go ahead and dig in deep and find out how strong you are. Um, you know, I have a little sign on my desk that says, you never know how strong you are until there's no other way else to be. You know, and sometimes I think for some of us right now, that's very, very true. You didn't know you could do this or you didn't know you could do that. Or maybe you're not sure if you can right now, but I guarantee you, if you take one step forward, you'll prove to yourself that you can. And there's really nothing more empowering than taking charge of your own life. So um, that is a little different message from Master Mom today, but it was kind of on my heart and thought I'd open up and share a little bit and um, that I fall down too and I get discouraged too. And uh, I'm grateful for a team that helps me uh, stay on track and get back on track. But just kind of remember square peg, round hole doesn't work quit fighting it and uh, find the right parameters so that everything can go smoothly forward from here. All right, guys, have a great day. It's a beautiful day in uh, Johnson City, Tennessee. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting outside this afternoon and uh, working in my yard. I do enjoy yard work. <laughs> so it is good exercise too. All right, take care, everybody.